welcome back to Sharon from Vivid Days. I'm hoping that the lighting is going to be bright enough for you in here. And I have changed my camera angle to hopefully see if this will capture more of the vibrancy. I have covered up the ceiling area to prevent the shine coming in, but I'm hoping that it's not really taken away from the color scheme. So what I am going to be doing today is at Christmas last year, in the sales just after I purchased this beautiful boxed picture frame that was originally £40 and it got reduced to £11.90 because what I wanted to do is see if these would be nice gifts for someday. I'm going to unbox it now and show you because it's boxed beautifully. So it has its own lovely box so it will come in. So I need to make sure I don't ruin that. It's been wrapped beautifully in tissue but I probably will have to redo that and then inside there is this beautiful standalone piece of art a uh, piece of art <laughs> standalone frame and so what I'm going to do is take the inserts out and just use the glass on here to frame my resin piece so you can use it that way or that way so I think I'm going to go this way I'm going to be using the same color schemes uh, that I've worked on before in the last two videos because I think that will complement this frame this frame it's like a rose gold so a very subtle uh, red stroke gold or pink <laughs> whatever your version of that is so what I'm going to do now is fast forward this part but I'm going to remove my frame from the box take everything out of it and get the glass out, level it and tape it up. So hopefully we will have a beautiful piece. So bear with me while I work on this and fast forward it. But I'll leave it playing so you can see where it is that I'm gonna be doing. So the colours I'm going to use this evening for the piece is the Ultramarine Blue, which is Darline Rowney, the Peebo, which is Cyan, the Peebo um, High Viscosity, Blue Green and Green Blue, I've got to find my Blue Green, uh, a White, and what I used for my sand is the Ivory, the Okra, and the Burnt Sienna. So I'm going to go with an Ocean Theme, and check that this fits really well within this picture frame. I'm going to be using 200 ml of resin, which for this one is amazing clear cast. I will also be using some real sand, which will be in there on the beach area, and a starfish. And everything else will just be imagination and a bit of love. And the colours I'm using in the ocean in the resin are the same colours that I used in my acrylics for my underpainting. So it's going to be interesting to see how this is going to work out on glass. So let's have some fun and let's get creative. Hello everybody, I am back and I worked on this image to go in this picture frame and I muddied it a little bit so I thought about coming back and doing some more on top but then I put the glass back in the picture frame and it doesn't quite go with the picture frame feel it's not meant to be this piece on uh, this piece of glass for art <laughs> here we go again hi it's Sharon I've had a little couple of days to wear well for that sake all right I'm ready to go now Hi everybody, welcome back to Sharon from Vivid Days. I worked on this piece the other night, recorded a video. I mudded it a little bit, but I was going to leave it and come back and put some on top to create a 3D effect and depth or more so. But when I came back and had a look at it, 
it's not that the image is bad it just doesn't belong on here and artists will know what that means when I put the picture frame in this it didn't speak to me like this is what it's meant to be so I am going to go over the top of this don't worry because I will be able to replicate this and make other things but I am going to do an ocean theme and that's because that's what I'm passionate about and I apologize if you don't really like ocean themes but for this particular glass in the picture frame that's going to be presented in the box I think it's going to be an amazing gift idea for somebody and I feel like that's what this piece is meant to be so I you've seen me do my undercoats for my acrylics which I've got to do to block out this anyway and it will give the resin something to grip to so I'll fast forward it but still show you me going through that process and then hopefully I will get back to you with a very exciting image of um, the ocean and we'll all agree that that is what's meant to be in I'm blinding myself with a light that was meant to be oh I'm just trying to fix my light so there's a best view for everybody there and I'm babbling so what I will do is shut up go get my paint and start painting
I am back and this is fully cured and I've put it in my picture frame to check that it does stay. I was a little bit worried that by adding the resin it would make the width of the glass a little bit too much to fit back in but there was plenty of space and I've even managed to put the cardboard underlay in there to stop it um, moving around and to the right you can see the box that this comes into so this would make an absolutely beautiful gift for Sunday or a little bit present to yourself so I'll take you in and give you a close-up so we're gonna go top left and we are gonna work our way down and you're gonna see hopefully lots of movements depths and the colors just blend really well together and we're gonna go to the middle and on the way up and I really do love how you can see the darkness so it looks like it's being sucked back into the ocean you're seeing lots of spray up there and I think that helps with the movement and lots of uh, the color that's toned in with that which to me adds a dramatic effect so top right and we are going down and again you're seeing that beautiful foam and we come in and we see that lovely starfish and again I love the darkness of the wave in between here being sucked down but also this tiny little bit of foam that's approaching onto the beach and that is using real sand as well so remember if you like my art thumbs up subscribe share help me get my art out out, out there and comments are always welcome i'd love to know what you have been working at what if, when was the last time you worked on glass directly with resin and what what images and successes did you have and let's help share that with the community remember if you do want to purchase this piece contact me directly and we can start that conversation i have work to sell and i also do custom made ones so please contact me around that as well it's coming up to that gifting season so i'm sure i've got lots of beautiful ideas at a fairly cost effective price for you so make contact but I would love for you to connect with me. Let me know what you think about this piece. But most of all, I would love for you to have the most amazing day. And remember to relax and be by the ocean where possible.